here's your basic 50 gallon electric water heater. I'm gonna go over all the components and what they do and the, um, the reasons are there. So first you have the shut off valve. This is a cold water inlet to the water heater. So if you wanna shut off just the hot water to your house, now it's off. So this is on and off valve for the water. Um, so like if you need to work on it, take out components, you can shut it off and drain it. But this is the uh, shut off valve. In here you have the wire going into the water heater. There's a 240 um, volt wire um, connected to most, it should be a 30 amp breaker inside the breaker panel. Um, these has three wires, two hots and one ground. Uh, the two hots go down and connect into the uh, thermostat. Ground connects to the tank to ground it. Um, back to the uh, electric panel and the two leads come down and connect into the top of the thermostat to the water heater and then this is a thermostat and then this is the element thermostat controls the element when and when to turn on and off the element actually heats the water inside the heater and there's actually two of these sometimes there's one 90 percent there's two two thermostats and two elements and then the way it works is it'll turn the first one on and once it's fully satisfied, it'll allow power to go down to the bottom thermostat. And that thermostat will determine whether or not it wants to turn on if it's satisfied up to temperature. Um, and then at the bottom of the heater, you have the drain, which the manufacturer recommends you drain it out once every 12 months for sediment. That's all the minerals in the water that will collect to the bottom of the tank and cause it to leak. So they recommend you drain it out. But that's the... Uh, that's a drain for it. And then on this side, you have um, the TMP valve, they call it. Um, it's temperature and pressure valve. So if the temperature of the water heater um, goes up too high, this will actually flip up and it'll allow water, it'll drain itself out. Um, or if the temperature of the heater gets too high, same thing, it'll open up allow it to uh, drain out. If these ever get tripped, you're supposed to automatically replace them. You're not supposed to reuse them even if it looks like it's fine. Manufacturer recommends you take it out, put a brand new one in. Um, if the temperature ever gets, if the, if the pressure ever gets too high, the reason for that is um, you usually have a pressure reducing valve on your water main and um, those regulate the pressure. Um, and if those go bad, they can let high pressure in and um, that can cause it to trip. Or if the temperature gets too high, it's something wrong going inside the controls that need to be addressed, or sometimes it's just the valve goes bad and it'll dump on the ground. But that's that's what that is, and the reason they have the pipe going down to the bottom is when these things when they open up, if they open up because of temperature, you know that water can be you know 190, 200 degrees, and if you're standing next to it, you're gonna get burned pretty bad. So they have this pipe that'll kind of divert to the ground so that no one you know um, gets injured. Uh, one more thing is it has a dip tube on it and so the cold water inlet this pipe actually extends all the way down to the bottom of the heater and the reason for that is when you go when you turn on your faucet and it draws hot water out the cold water doesn't dilute the hot water and mix together it'll fill up the cold water will fill the bottom of the heater as you draw water and it pushes the hot water up and so you have a um, nice 50 gallons of hot water coming out so you can take your shower so on each water heater, they have a plate, um, and it'll give you information like the year it was built, serial number, um, model number, um, you know, how many gallons your water heater is, whether it's gas or electric, what kind of gas it is. Um, so we're dealing with a 50 gallon electric water heater. Um, so in here, it'll tell you right here, 50 gallons. It says uh, capacity, um, US gallons, 50. Um, here it says volts 240, so we know it's electric. Um, if it's a gas heater, it'll either say, um, it'll say LP or, um, um, NG LP means liquid, um, propane or NG is natural gas. But, um, here's a model number. Um, and then here's a serial number. So this is the AO Smith right here. The first two numbers are 15. That's the year it was built. So we know it's seven years old. It was built in 2015. Um, each water heater they do their codes different. Um, usually the first two um, numbers is the year it was built, but you always wanna double check. You'll Google the manufacturer that you're looking at, and sometimes they have three different codes they'll use and they do it different ways. So you always wanna double check to write it's accurate information, but that's how you can determine how old your water heater is. Because as a professional plumbing company, 
Uh, we always recommend you replace them every 10 to 12 years. That's kind of at the end of its life um, expectancy. Sometimes they can last longer, 20, 30 years. I've even seen one that's 50 years, super rare. Um, but uh, yeah, typically after 12 years, it's kind of past its point of life and you just replace them.